Hey guys, welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. This is your girl Nikki, and today I'll be talking all about anatomical positions. So these are very basic terms that you literally need to know in everything you do in anatomy or everything you do in medicine or everything you do in the science field or just what you do in your daily life. So if someone says something is superior to you, where is this? If something is inferior to you, where is this? If something is medial or lateral or proximal or distal, you need to know where this is so yes this is all our video today very very basic because you cannot move on to the advanced stuff if you don't understand the basic if you understand this trust me it gets easier and easier so also don't forget to follow our instagram page at dn underscore medical series on instagram and just shout us out over there and tell all your friends about it so let me start right here. So we are going to start with the front view right here. So the first thing I want you to look at is the midline. You can see the midline right here. And when I say midline, it means a split in the center of your body. So when something splits your body in half, all right, there you see this imaginary line, we call it the midline. So when something is medial to the midline, it means it's going towards the midline. When something is lateral, it means it's going away from the midline. Again, medial towards the midline because M for M, medial for midline, towards the midline. Lateral, away from the midline. So look at this. So this, we have this lady right here. So which of these structures do you think would be medial and which would be lateral? Her breast or her arm? So the one closest to the midline is this, her breast. So we say oh, her breast is more medial than her arm. And her arm is farther away from the midline. So we say her arm is lateral in this case. So now we understand medial and lateral, medial closer or towards the midline, lateral away from the midline or farther away from the midline. So the next one we're going to do is proximal and distal. So here, when you think of proximal, think about the top of something and distal, the, far, the farther end. So look at this arm. The top of my arm right here and my shoulder blade would be proximal when I'm comparing it to my fingertips. So my the top of my shoulder is proximal because it's at the top and my fingertips are distal. So proximal at the top, distal at the extreme bottom. So the same thing for the leg. So here, the top up here would be proximal and down at your toes would be distal. So proximal is like top and bottom. Proximal and distal is like top and bottom. So proximal, distal. So let's just review those quickly. So medial, close to the midline, lateral, away from the midline. Proximal, the top of something, distal, the far end of something. And another key thing to note is left and right position. So the anatomical position is like when you're standing at the foot of the bed and you're looking at the patient upwards. So if you, the patient is lying down and you're at the bottom of the bed looking up on them. So guess what? Your left will be their right and their right will be your left. So this is what says here. So you're looking at this computer screen now. On this side, your right hand is on this side. But well, guess what? It's opposite in the patient because you're looking at them in anatomical position. So you're looking at their left side. Understood? So remember, every time you look at a patient, you're looking at them through anatomical position, their left would be your right and their right would be your left. So sitting and watching this video right now, you're seeing this patient left and it's on your right side. On this side, you're seeing the patient's right and that's your left side. So that's another key thing in anatomical position. So now that we did all of that, let's jump to this one in the middle, superior and inferior. 
So when we talk about superior, we're talking about the top and the inferior of something, we're talking about the bottom. It's kind of similar to proximal and distal in a way. So superior, you, you can say the superior, the crown of my head, inferior, the sole of my feet. So basically it's similar to proximal and distal, but it's used in different scenarios and different cases. So it's not very hard to understand. Another one is cranial and caudal. It's also self-explanatory as you see it in this picture. Cranial, referring to the head at the top. Caudal, when you hear caudal, they think of tail, so they're thinking of the bottom. So if something they say is cranial, the opposite of that end would be caudal. Another key one now is anterior and posterior. So when we think about and the anterior, we're talking about the front, the front of something. When we talk about posterior, we're talking about the back. Very, very key concept right here, guys. So look at her. So her front, where is your belly, your breasts, and all those things, which is at the front of the girl or the front of the human being. So this is anterior. But at the back where she have her back, her butt, her calves, we say that is at the back of her, and that's posterior. So whenever you hear posterior, think about back. Whenever you hear anterior, think about the front. And a key thing to note is that they can interchange the word ventral for anterior and dorsal for posterior. Again, something is ventral, it means it's at the front, it's anterior. Something is dorsal, it's at the back, it's posterior. So these are some very key terms that you guys have to understand before you jump into anything in the science field here in university. So let me just do a general review so you guys can stay with me and tell me if you guys understand in the comment section below. So firstly, think about the midline. So closest to the midline, medial. Farther from the midline, something is lateral. At the top, something is proximal. At the distal end, it's distal. Same for the leg here, proximal, down here distal. Remember the patient is always in anatomical position, so your left is their right and your right is their left. You're looking at the patient from the foot of their bed looking upwards. Something is superior is at the top, something is inferior it's at the bottom or on the underside. Cranial coming from the head, caudal furthest away from the head. Anterior or ventral at the front, posterior or dorsal at the back. So I hope you guys understand this video. I hope you guys have a general understanding of these terms. As I said, if you don't understand, try to go through the video again and again until you get it. And it's not very hard to understand. I know you guys are smart people, so you'll definitely understand this. So, but you can re-watch the video over and over again, just in case I went a little bit fast. And you'll definitely get the understanding and the concept of exactly what was said here. This, these are very key terms that you need, not want, you need to understand before you move on in medical school. So that's it. And not just medical school, just any science degree program or anything in life because people use this term on a general basis. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at DN Medical Series. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube videos. And again, thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. We love you guys and we appreciate you all. Thank you.